trust your first impression? I see water. I see water. Very good. Tell me what kind of water do you see? It's green. Mm-hmm. A little blue. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this water. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Does this water move in any type of way? Or is no, it it's calm. It's calm. Mm-hmm. So let's expand out a little bit, zoom out, and let's find out what this body of water is. Where are you? I see sand. Mm -hmm. It looks like the sky is blue. Very good. What else do you see in the sky? A normal blue. Mm-hmm. Tell me about this blue. What do you see in the sky? What's interesting about it? It's, it's almost white. Mm-hmm. It's, Tell me more. What do you feel? Seems like it's uh, reflecting them. Mm-hmm. The water. That's an interesting color blue. Mm-hmm. I want you to use your senses and allow yourself to tap in to that knowledge that allows you to know what it is that you're looking at. What's different about this place? I don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out more about this place. Let's zoom out some more and let's find out where this place is. What's the first impression that you get? I see a rock. I see a rock. Mm -hmm. A big rock. Mm -hmm. What type of rock is this? It doesn't fit with the surroundings. It's a different... Mm -hmm. It's it's a different color. What do you imagine this rock is? I don't know, but it looks like a... triangle shape. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's a gray with white. And this rock, what texture does it have? It's not smooth. Mm-hmm. It's, it's bumpy. Mm-hmm. The peak is a different color. Mm -hmm. The peak is tan. The peak is tan. What do you imagine this rock is all about? What is this rock? I don't know. How do you feel when you see it? I like it. Mm -hmm. So let's get closer to that rock. Get very close. And let's see if you feel anything from that rock. Connect with that rock. I feel like I've seen it before. Mm-hmm. Let's find out where it is that you've seen this rock before. I want you to close that scene and let's go traveling in time to find out where you've seen it before. I'm going to count from three to one and when I get to number one, you'll be at that memory of that rock. Three, going back in time now. Two, 
looking for that rock. And one. Be there now. The sky is purple and pink. Mm -hmm. Kind of swirly. Look around you. What do you see? Hmm. I see that rock. Mm -hmm. What's that rock doing there? I don't know what it's doing there, but it's taking on some of the colors of the sky. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens. I don't see, it's like I'm in the air. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? A physical body? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a physical body, you'll be able to know. You'll be able to acquire information. I seem to be on above the... I seem to be above the rock. Mm -hmm. So if you're consciousness, you can connect mind to mind with that rock and find out what the story is. It looks like a pyramid. Mm -hmm. But not like the kind you see on, in Egypt. It doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. Can you describe this rock for me? It looks gray, but the white in it is taking on the color of the sky. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine this rock is doing? What does it do with these colors? It's reflecting the colors. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any energy from this rock? The whole place is energy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this place is. I don't see the ground. Uh. What do you imagine this place is? I don't know what this place is. Look around you. Everything looks... has a purple hue from the sky. Mm -hmm. Is this place where you are solid? I can't see the ground. Mm -hmm. But you can move your consciousness, so let's move in this place and see where we can go. Allow yourself to move. And let's find out a little bit about how this pyramid is there. What comes to your mind? As I move down that pyramid, it's... I see gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. A yellowish gold color. And where do you find this yellowish gold color? It's on the edge. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine this gold edge is for? Hmm. Always trust what you're sensing. Seems like I can see some sort of trees. I guess those are trees. Mm -hmm. Where are these trees? They're on the gold side. Mm -hmm. In the corner of the pyramid. What do these trees look like? My first thought was palm trees, but they're not palm trees. Mm -hmm. What else do you see now? Allow the images to just flow in. The more you talk, the more you'll see. The more details will come to you. What comes to mind? That's 
all I see here. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's close this scene and let's find out what you have to do with this pyramid. So we're going to now close that scene and go to another memory of either this lifetime you're in or a different one that will give you answers to what the purpose is of this pyramid. Let's go drifting and floating through time and space. Drifting and floating. And be there now. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? I just see swirling colors. Ah, beautiful. What kind of swirling colors do you see? It reminds me of the solar system. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So let's keep going with that. Let's focus more. What else do you see as you focus on the swirling colors? It's kind of like that sky that's mm -hmm. swirling pink and purple and gold. Mm -hmm. And it's swirling in a oblong shape. Mm -hmm. Can you move through those colors? Mm. Let's try. What do you experience? It seems to <clears throat> change mm -hmm. when I get near it. What does it change to? Mm. Changes mm -hmm. color. What does it change to now? I see green. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't know what this place is, but... How does it feel? That it feels... It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to enjoy the experience as you move through it. Gather the information and the feelings from this place. And as you do that, just express to me what's happening. There's a white center. Mm -hmm. It kind of fluctuates. It gets bigger and expands a little and then goes back in. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that there's, there's like something a, there? Let's find out what it is. Get closer to it. Allow yourself to just zoom in and get closer. Your consciousness, you can do that. What is this? I don't want you to think about it or analyze. Just the know The pyramid it. is there. Ah. It's a small one. Mm-hmm. It's more narrow. And if you know the reason what that pyramid is doing there, what would you imagine the reason would be? If you were to know. What is it doing there? Oh, it's sideways. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that pyramid is doing? Tap into your knowing. Looks like it's pointing in a direction. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that pyramid, how does it make you feel? Do you feel like following the direction? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to go into the direction that that pyramid is pointing you to. And let's find out where it takes you. It's dark. Mm -hmm. What's around you? It's black. It's so it's like I'm in a a black point mm -hmm. and there's 
like I'm in a, a vortex of some sort, but mm -hmm. I can see swirling all around me, but I don't, but I'm not in the swirl. Mm -hmm. And how does this blackness feel? That's okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go through, continue going through that blackness and let's see where it leads you to. Uh, so it looks like I can see something mm -hmm. far away. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're in this consciousness state, all you have to do is set an intention, and you're there. So you see yourself arriving at that place. It just doesn't feel like anything solid. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be. What do you imagine this is? It's like... It's like misty vapors. Mm -hmm. Does it have a color? Swirling colors. It's all like, it's like all connected mm -hmm. now with I, the swirling purple and mm -hmm. green. I see green swirls. So everything that... It's all connected. Everything is connected and all has consciousness. It's all connected. Let's find out how it's connected. Yeah. We're small. And this is vast. Mm -hmm. And even though there's <clears throat> dark, there's still beauty mm -hmm. all around us. Mm -hmm. And all of this that you see, all is alive and has consciousness. Mm -hmm. And you can connect with it. And let's find out what this is, what it's telling you it's today. It's like, it's like harmony. Mm -hmm. It's like music. Mm -hmm. It's like swirling colorful music. And how does that affect you? It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you go to next. Allow yourself to close that scene and let's go to the next important event. That gives you the answers to your being. Allow yourself to drift and float to another memory of another place in time. Be there now. I see grass. I see grass. Very good. Tell me more. It's like... Like a field. Mm -hmm. It's not soft grass, it's hard grass. I see trees, pine trees. Mm. And as you're looking at this, from what perspective do you see it? From the ground or above? I'm, in the, I'm on the ground. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, I see like a pointed roof. Mm -hmm. I want to say maybe a cottage of some sort, but it's a little bigger than that. I feel like a girl. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet and see if you have any feet on, on this body. What do you see? Mm -hmm. Trust your impression. What's the first thing that you can... I feel like I'm a red-headed girl. A red-headed girl. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Mm -hmm. Late teens, early twenties. How are you dressed there? You see a dress and a 
apron over it, uh, mm -hmm. an apron that has that goes around the neck and then around the waist. Mm -hmm. How long is your dress? Mm -hmm. To my knees. Mm -hmm. Look at your hand and see if you have anything in your hands. I don't know what it is. Hmm. What does it look like? Maybe a pail. Mm-hmm. That's a looks like a water pail. A water pail? What do you imagine you're doing with that pail today? I'm getting water. Mm -hmm. Let's see where you get the water from. It's a stream. At the by the trees. Mm -hmm. Down the hill. Describe to me everything that you do. I have a bandana on my head. Little little triangular scarf. And I'm Bringing the water back. Tell me everything you see along the way. It's peaceful. And it seems like there's a lot of birds and things. Mm -hmm. And what does this place that you live in look like? Mm -hmm. It's mountainous, it looks like, but not rugged mountains, just mm, soft peaks. Mm -hmm. mm, and it, right now it feels warm, not terribly hot, but... Mm -hmm. So let's see where you take that water. I bring it to that pointy peaked house. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside and see what's there. Simple table. Simple stools. There's a fire. In the fireplace. It looks like Cooking is done there too. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others in that place? I don't see anybody right now. Mm -hmm. But I don't see like uh, not modern at all. Mm -hmm. It's very rustic. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about how you spend your days, I'd like for you to close that scene and see yourself eating a meal. Potatoes. Broth. Bread. Mm -hmm. Look around you. Are you alone or with others? I think I'm alone. Mm -hmm. I think I'm alone. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be alone? Mm. I, I feel like... I feel, don't feel like I've been alone long. Mm -hmm. I see. A little window. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about that window? There's a pretty flower in the window. Mm -hmm. A pink flower. Does this seem to be your home? It seems to be my home. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about what happens in your life how you spend your time. Let's close that scene and let's go to a scene where perhaps you make a living or do things to spend your time. Be there now. That's a simple life. Mm -hmm. 
Around. I get the impression that I'm cleaning, mm -hmm. but but I'm not cleaning houses. I'm mm -hmm. not doing that. Mm -hmm. You're cleaning your own place. It's maybe it's my own place, and I think I have a horse mm -hmm. because I feel like there's a stable. Mm -hmm. Let's find I'm out. Sweeping, I'm sweeping my floor with a a reed type of a broom. It's not modern at all. It's mm -hmm. Do you sense that you're happy in this life? I think so. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out about what happens in your life in the future. I'd like for you to close that scene and now let's move forward to another event in that same lifetime when something important happened. Be there now. Where are you? I don't think I'm at the same place. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where you are. Look around. I feel like there's a stone house of some sort. Mm -hmm. Is this your house or somebody I else's don't house? No, if it's. How do you feel in this house? I feel like a guest. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a welcomed guest? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this place is. Whose house is this? You'll know it. Look around. It's not as grassy. Mm -hmm. It's more and dusty. Mm -hmm. It's more plain. I don't see flowers, and mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see any animals. Uh, I feel like. I feel like I don't stay there, though. I mm -hmm. just don't feel that. I don't feel welcome. I don't feel like that's... Whose house is this? A place that I want to be. Go into your feelings, into your gut, and you'll know. Who does this house belong to? I think it's my house, though. Mm -hmm. I don't feel welcome, though. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. If you live with anybody there? Yes. Let's find out who it is. Allow them to enter the scene. Mm, I think it's... I think it's my husband's family's mm -hmm. house. How do you feel about this marriage? I feel like I wanted to stay at my house. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if there's anything important about this marriage or this house. Let's close that scene and let's open up a scene when something important is happening that tells you about this life. Mm. I'm just making the best of a situation. Mm -hmm. What do you live with there? My 
I see his mother. Mm -hmm. And she needs help. Mm -hmm. What kind of help does she need? Just stuff around the house. Mm -hmm. And can you see your husband in there? Yeah, he's the one doing the helping. Mm -hmm. Take a look at his eyes. Can you see his eyes? The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize these eyes in the life of Yolanda? No. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your husband in this lifetime? He's doing the right thing mm -hmm. for his mother. What about for you? No. Mm -hmm. I respect it, though. So let's see what happens next. Close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Be there now. What's happening? It's, there's nothing significant All right. here. So let's go to the last day of your lifetime. And let's find out where you are. I'm still in the stone house. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling about it? Hmm. I wish I was in my house. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I'm near 70. Mm -hmm. And what's happened in this life? How can you sum up this life? This was... Uh, just... about uh, helping people that have greater needs than your own. Mm -hmm. She had greater needs. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take the last breath in that lifetime. Allow yourself to release your soul from that body. And let's find out what happens next. Where does your soul go? Mm -hmm. I can see light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light? White. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where do you go? Mm -hmm. I see birds. I see something. Maybe that's a person. Mm -hmm. What is this person? It reminds like? me of a. of those nesting dolls. Mm -hmm. Kind of look. Mm -hmm. It has that shape? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it have a color? Well, it's. Mm -hmm. Beigey, tannish. Mm -hmm. How does it feel as you approach this being? It feels like he knows me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Connect with him mind to mind and soul to soul. And let's find out what words he has for you as you approach. He's not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't hear it as words, you just know it. What do you feel around this, this being? 
I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So allow his words to be part of your thoughts. What's the first thing he tells you? It was okay. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Acceptance. Mm -hmm. well, you don't always get to do what you want. But some people's needs are greater than your own. And you did fine. Mm -hmm. Were there any lessons learned in that mm -hmm. lifetime? And that was it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens after you meet with your guide. What happens next? Oh, he has a beard. Mm. Uh, bushy eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And as he comes more and more to your senses, allow him to connect more. And let's see if he has a message for you. What does he want to tell you today? Uh, I need to relax. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. What's happening that you need to relax? I need to let some things go. Mm -hmm. What are the kind of things that mm. he suggests you let go? Um, his hair is flowing. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I need to let, mm, yeah, I need to let go of other people's mm, things. I, I can not carry other people's things with me. Mm -hmm. Is Yolanda carrying other yes. people's things with her? Well, it seems to me that the more you carry, the heavier it becomes. It's too much. Mm -hmm. Why has she chosen to hold on? Uh, she wants to help people. Mm -hmm. But she... She wants to help people so much that uh, she feels that it's her responsibility mm -hmm. to hang on to these things so that they can let go. Well, does that make sense? It no, seems like it she's, doesn't make any sense. She's like this pack mule holding everybody else's stuff. She's worn out. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting her health-wise? It's not good. Mm -hmm. So what can we do today to let go of all these things that she's been carrying this whole lifetime? She needs to... It's like... She needs to... She needs to sleep more. Mm -hmm. To regenerate. What's keeping her from sleeping now? Mm. It's worry. Mm -hmm. And does worry get anybody anywhere? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that worry is almost like taking yourself into your garage, part, getting inside your car, turning it on, and just sitting there mm. with the exhaust going. Does it seem like she's getting anywhere by worrying? No. No. It's like she's got these cords everywhere. Mm -hmm. Where are these cords connected to? All over, mm -hmm. all over her body. Let's find out what's mm -hmm. on the other side of these cords. We know she's got cords connected to her, but where are the other ones connected to? Mm 
She has cords. Mm -hmm. Where are they connected to? Mm. Other people's shit. Ah. Do we need to be holding on to other people's shit? No. No. So can we begin today by removing those cords? Yes. All right. So I'd like to ask for assistance from Archangel Michael today. He's got the blue flame core, mm -hmm. the blue flame uh, sword. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for him to go ahead and begin cutting away. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a huge sword. Okay. And allow him to go ahead and begin swooping away and disconnecting all of those cords, cutting them away, going through our whole body in one huge swoop. And tell me when all of those cords have been completely severed. Wow. So now I'd like to ask for the violet flame to cut away any of those roots that remain in her body. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's use a huge, huge flame, a violet flame, to go through the entire body, cutting away all of the roots, not leaving any of those roots from anybody in her body. It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's almost black. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. It's like roots mm -hmm. being drifting away. Very good. Allow that flame to just dissolve them as it burns them away from the entire body. Okay. Very good. So let's find out now what our body looks like without all of these cords. Oh, there's crevices everywhere. Mm-hmm. So now I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael, the healer, to bring in his beautiful green healing light. And as oh. he goes through the entire body, feel all of this green light filling in like a beautiful healing ointment going into all of the crevices. Tell me how that feels. It feels different. Mm -hmm. And as Yolanda sleeps at night, we're going to ask Archangel Raphael to continue working with her to make sure that she heals from head to toe mm -hmm. from all of this that she's been carrying for so long. Okay. So tell me what else she needs to detach from. What else is she carrying? I don't see anything else. Very good. Now she asks about her purpose in life, and I'm sure that her purpose is not to carry other people's loads. No, she she confuses that with helping mm -hmm. at times. And What is her purpose this time? She knows it's healing. Mm -hmm. She knows that. Mm -hmm. And what kind of healing does she do? There's many types. She's a... <laughs> she's so silly. She's a... She's a healer with... Energy healer. Mm-hmm. Now she's currently learning AK energy oh, classes. Yeah. She's going to use that with other things. Mm -hmm. Is this going to morph into something different? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's going to 
she thinks she's semi-retired right now or she's not going to be retired anytime mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. Why did she come here? What was the purpose of her being here? She needs healing. Mm-hmm. So do we think do you think that we started well with disconnecting all of that yes, those cords from Mabel? That's not enough though. That's the mm-hmm. start. So how can she as a healer be more successful? She's learning to ground herself more. Mm-hmm. What is the best way for her to ground herself? Uh, she needs to She needs to. Mm-hmm. She's she's got to go to the beach. She's got to go to the water. Mm-hmm. She needs more, more water. Mm-hmm. Now, when she started this session, she saw beautiful water and yes. colors. What was that significance of that water? Oh, it's healing water. Mm-hmm. Was that water here on Earth or elsewhere? No, nope, it was not here. Where is this place that she goes to? She goes. She seems to have been traveling through space. Yeah, she's what goes there often. Mm-hmm. She's even painted it. Mm-hmm. What is this place? Feels like home. Mm-hmm. Is it's it a, home. Is it a planet? She wants to go back. <laughs> if she wants to go back so much, why was she called to live this lifetime on Earth at this time? What was so important for her to leave? Place she that needs she to help. Mm-hmm. What is she helping? What is she using her abilities for here on Earth? She... She helps calm people. Mm-hmm. She doesn't feel like she helps at all, but she does. She feels like people are nervous around her, but they feel her energy Mm -hmm. and it might make them nervous because it's a different frequency. Is her frequency? It's high. It's high. So when someone with a very low energy, very low frequency is around her... They're nervous. Mm. They don't feel... They have to uh, get away from her. Mm. They um, they feel like she is weird. Mm-hmm. She, that's the only word I can think of. Mm-hmm. They don't understand it. They don't understand what they're feeling. And, uh, and she senses that and it makes her sad. Mm-hmm. So how can we change that perspective today? Understanding that she has powers in her hands to heal. Uh, she wants to be able to help people. Yes, that's her purpose here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How can she do this? Maybe in a way where people wouldn't need to interact with her. They don't need to interact with her. She doesn't understand that. Mm. She doesn't have to be around them. She can help people across in another continent if she wants. Mm -hmm. So is she, does she have the energy healing abilities to be able to just focus on someone? Yes. And send yes. her energy to them? Mm-hmm. She can see a picture or she can get a, get a name or the location. And she 
she's she can do it. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for guides to help her yes. move into this direction so that she can move her life forward yes. doing this? Is this something that she would enjoy? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's thriving on this. Mm -hmm. Wanting to help and move people in the right direction. Mm -hmm. To make people feel better so that they can move in, move in their direction that they need to go in. Mm -hmm. Who's working with her? Did she, uh, did she come along or did she have guides? Oh no, she's, she's surrounded by people, mm -hmm. by beings, by... Who are these guides? Um, there's all different colored beings, all... That's, that's why she's drawn to color so much. She needs color in her life, and that helps her. Mm -hmm. well, that's she... just speaking to her. The colors are vibrations, and, mm -hmm. and she needs bright, uh, bright, bright colors. Mm -hmm. And mm. what happens when she's around bright colors? How does that help her? She, it's like she sings. It's like she has music all around her. Mm -hmm. So the colors have a vibration like music? Mm, yeah. Well, she said that when she was flying through the universe, that the universe oh, yeah. seems like the colors were singing to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this something that she's bringing with her from her planet, perhaps? Uh, she hears music all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she thinks it's ringing in her ears, but it's music. Mm -hmm. She doesn't... She's not listening at the right frequency to hear mm -hmm. the music. Is this music vibrating? Yes. At a much higher speed? Is that what it is? Yes. Mm -hmm. It seems to me it's like the, the crickets. Yes. Right? So the crickets song is slowed down. It sounds like an orchestra. It's, yes, that's mm -hmm. what she has going on in, mm -hmm. in her ears. Mm -hmm. So perhaps when people hear ringing in their ears is actually the singing of the universe? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Mm -hmm. What does this ringing bring us? Is it information? It's helping us it's helping us with the frequencies. It's helping us to become more in tune with with the energy all around us. Mm -hmm. it, people want to stop it, but they shouldn't stop it. They should hear it. Mm -hmm. They should learn to... Yeah, 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 yeah. They need to stop and listen to the may meditate and can they use the ringing in their ears as a meditation um, to focus if they focus on the medit if they focus in meditation they can they can hear the vibration they can hear different levels of vibration and it helps them it can help them to become more, more in tune with the, with, with, with well, with source and with, uh, with Earth. Mm -hmm. She is beautiful and mm -hmm. sings all the time. Gaia does. Yes, mm -hmm. and people miss it. Mm. Is that why Yolanda needs to spend more time at the beach? Yes. More time with nature? Yes. What will happen when she starts grounding herself more? How will her life change? She will. She will help more people. Mm -hmm. 
she'll be able to. There'll be no limits to how she can help. Mm -hmm. No limits as to how she can help. So she'll be use, using the, the energy from Gaia? Also? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she needs to be on the ground for that first. And right? she needs to keep letting go of stuff because the stuff is holding her back. Mm -hmm. Is this physical stuff, like yes. stuff from our house? No, no. What it's kind of stuff? It's all... Pe people stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. mental, mental things, mental... Um, she needs to let it yeah, go. Yeah, if she doesn't let it go, she's not gonna she's not gonna be able to focus. She's not gonna be able to hear she can't hear the music. Mm -hmm. uh, it just sounds like ringing and it's you know, you need to hear the music and get to that level of um, get that vibration, get that level, that frequency. And she's getting that now. Good. All of that stuff that she's holding on to. Does that show up anywhere in her body? Yes. What does it show up as? Well, it's keeping her, keeping her fat, mm -hmm. for one thing, is she can't, a lot of times if you can't, you know, handle the frequencies, you, they're not listening clearly, you do other things to numb yourself from seems like discomfort I guess you would feel discomfort mm -hmm. so so what is she doing to sabotage she's just doing this because she thinks it's you know they say comfort food mm -hmm. it's not comfort food it's deadening food it mm -hmm. deadens your senses so and when you don't understand you confuse it mm -hmm. So it's like alcohol. Yes. People drink to forget. Yes. And she's using food yes. to do that. But it seems like she's eating, eating better than ever. Yes, she eats very healthy. Mm -hmm. So how does this she just, very healthy food remain on well, her body? Well, that's... It can't release itself because... Well, that's one more way she keeps herself from moving forward. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. so. Are we ready today? Yes. To start releasing. Yes. All of these things that she's been holding on to for so long. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over her heart, and allow me to release from her all of those things that she's been holding for so long. Let's begin all the way in the back, going back in time, even when she was a baby, bringing out all of these things of not being loved enough, not being good enough, not being cared for enough, nurtured enough, missing home, not being enough of anything, not having the love she feels she deserves. Let's pull out all of this pain that she's been holding for all this time, releasing it, letting go, allowing the universe to just vacuum out from all of her cells, all of her DNA. Tell me when I have it all. Mm -hmm. Let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. And now, in this space, there's a lot, a lot of room. What would we like and to acceptance. put? Acceptance. Let's put in all of the self-acceptance in there. Feel it flooding in to every cell of your body as it pumps through. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. What else would we like to yeah. add? Let's put a fire hose of love in there. Feel it pumping into your heart, going through all of your body. Feel the sensation of love filling every single space. Okay, and let's tap it in. How does that feel now? Full. Very good. And since she feels so full of love, is there any reason for her to be stuffing it? No. Mm -hmm. So let's allow now to release any time 
She starts to even think about holding on to anybody else's problems. Let's find a place in her body where we can use it to be released. Where can we, what point can we use in our body to allow that energy from other people to flow out of? Out of the top of her head. Very good. So go ahead and let's bring something, a little valve in the top of her head where any time she even thinks about holding it in, consciously or unconsciously, it'll be like a pressure valve, allowing all of that to just flow right out. Allowing any time she works with anyone, any time she brings in any energy that is not hers, it'll go right out that valve and right back to the universe for healing. How does that seem now? Good. Very good. <clears throat> now she says that one time when she was meditating, she had an angel come to her and almost touch her on her mm. forehead. Her third eye area, what was the message? Yeah. Who was that angel? That was one of her angels. Mm -hmm. Was Just message? reminding her that they're always there. Mm -hmm. What else do they do to remind her? All sorts of things. Mm -hmm. What do they do? She wants to hear them better. Yeah, she's uh, so worried that she can't see them or hear them. Mm -hmm. Does she need to see them or hear them? No, she knows that. They're always doing things for her. Mm -hmm. It's all the little things. She sees something. She just did something today at a store. And she picked it up and that was... She bought it. She took, she's taking it home. Mm -hmm. Just little things to remind her that we're there. Mm -hmm. And if she is such a healer, doesn't she need to first trust yes. that there are others that are helping her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. How many are helping her with the healing work itself? There's, oh, I feel like I see eight. Mm -hmm. There's eight. Eight of them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Has she known these eight before or they're just here for this time? She's not some of them. She's not some of them mm -hmm. for a very long time. Good. Would you tell her what was the meaning of that squirrel and cardinal that ran? Just more messages. Okay. We're here. We're flying and we're, we're all around you. So anytime something like that happens. We're, we're right here beside you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Why is it that she doesn't have the ability to express herself in words? What's going on? Well... She... She doesn't need to. She mm -hmm. just... If she says too much, she might give the wrong impression to people who are not at the same vibrational level, at the same mm -hmm. frequency. It's, it's just better if she does it. Some of her work is very subtle. Mm -hmm. For those individuals, it's better that she doesn't... It's better this way. She can do more good. She can do more work. She can help more people if she doesn't... You know, there are times, though, that she is um, able to speak freely and, and she knows who those people are when they're around her. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she doesn't need to. Well, it seems that with that vibration she gives off, since it's so high and people think she's weird already, do you think that perhaps if she said things about her truth, but they would even think it was even weirder. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's why she's not... 
that's why. That's why she's not... Not talking so much? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad thing. No, it's her way she needs to... Mm -hmm. It's the way she needs to to be. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we want to talk a little bit more about the difficulties that she's been having. She's been having difficulties with this weight, with releasing it. Do you feel now that we've taken care of this issue? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And can you tell her more about she's her diet? She's going to know what to do with her diet. Mm -hmm. She's she's doing really good with her diet. Mm -hmm. She is fine-tuning it right now, and mm -hmm. she's, a, she's going in the right direction with that. She... I think she gets confused, but she's not confused about it. She uh, is learning more and more. Is she tweaking it? Yes, mm -hmm. she's tweaking it, and she needs to be a vegan. Mm -hmm. She is, definitely needs to be a vegan. How, would, how does being a vegan help her with her mm -hmm. purpose? She needs to be clean, mm -hmm. and the cleaner she is, mm, the vibrations flow better the mm -hmm. she gets better mm -hmm, she gets a lot of better information mm -hmm. so better reception better re yes mm -hmm. I guess that's for a lack of better terms yes yes she will she will get this she's learning what she should not eat and she by trial and error. This is the problem. She's thinking it's a problem, but it's not. It's mm -hmm. She's learning what foods are working for her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and she's not trusting it either because sometimes she, she calls it a test, but it's, it's really not. It's I guess she want. Uh, I guess she wants to clarify for sure mm -hmm. if certain let's just say beans, certain beans do not do not work for her, mm -hmm. and certain ones do. And but she thinks that she can fool her body, and she can't. It's so she's learning. So when she eats something that she shouldn't, her body complains. Her yes. Mm -hmm. And why is it that her stomach gurgles so much? It's the things that she's trying to... She needs to pay attention to that because that is what is telling her to stay away from. Mm -hmm. So when it gurgles, mm -hmm. does it gurgle before she even eats it? Mm, or after? No, she... It's after she eats it. Okay. She needs to keep a log. Mm -hmm. That's, she needs to keep a journal. She did that once. But she wasn't, she didn't understand what she was doing with it. So, so what she, happens when she doesn't listen to her body? Oh, she gets stomach aches. Mm -hmm. She gets, um, she gets swelling around her knee. Mm -hmm. Um, she gets allerg. she has allergies from food. Mm -hmm. She has a buildup in her throat. Maybe it's, what is that? Let's find out what that is in her throat. What it's, energy does she have in her throat? It doesn't belong there. All right. Is this something that she created or that attached to her? Let's find out the difference. Mm -hmm. What is this energy? We know the difference if she created it. Or if it's foreign. It feels foreign. All right. Would you allow me to address this energy and find out why it's there? Okay. All right. I'm going to put my hand over that area and bring that energy up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or male. female? Male. What is your name, please? Mm. What do you call yourself? Mm. I don't hear my name. You don't hear your name. Have you ever had a human body before? 
Yes. Yes. How old is this body? It doesn't matter. Hmm. It seems to me that you're a little bit angry. That's... What's going on? What made you so angry? Hmm. Nothing really. No. Mm -hmm. It seems that you don't hear a name. Is it that perhaps you felt that you weren't important? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did they do to you that made you feel so unimportant? I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like you're dead because they were speaking to each other. What did they do to your body? I feel like I was choked. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who choked you. Let's go back into that moment before you were choked and let's see what happened. Who choked you? I don't know. This person. Mm -hmm. Did you know this person? No, I don't know this person. Mm -hmm. Where were you choked? I was, I was out. Mm -hmm. I was, I don't, I see trees, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you in dirt the, ground. Were you in the forest? Yeah, mm -hmm. looks like, looks like the west. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Who choked you? I don't know this person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When you were in this forest, I want you to focus on how you were dressed. How did you dress there? Simple shirt. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pants. Mm -hmm. Boots. Mm -hmm. I see a hat. Like a western hat. Mm -hmm. And now, the subconscious mind always captures everything that happens, and especially if you're a spirit. How is the person that choked you? How are they dressed? I'm similar. Mm -hmm. Is this someone that perhaps something had had something <sighs> against you? No. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. But it was too late. Mm -hmm. So what happened after you left that body? Nothing. Nothing. How did you find Yolanda? She... She was young. Mm -hmm. How old was she? She was very young. Mm -hmm. She... She seemed happy. Mm -hmm. Is that For right? a while. Uh -huh. And then she wasn't happy. But it was good for me. So what is it that allowed you to attach to her? How was it that she was open up to you? She wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. And when she, uh huh, she, she doesn't, she doesn't like to talk either. Mm -hmm. So that that seemed like a match, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing to Yolanda all these years? I, I make her feel like she's got something in her throat. Mm -hmm. I think something is always there. Mm -hmm. A lot of congestion there. Mm -hmm. And that congestion, is that you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you rather be than this congestion?
I would rather be me. Mm -hmm. But this is good. Well, it doesn't seem good enough. Because you see, you're living your life through somebody else. When you could be living as you. As your own being, your own soul. And we have a really fast way to take you back to who you are. I like it. Here. Well, let's try something different and see if you like it. Because if you were trying different types of food, you wouldn't know unless you tasted them all to see what you liked. Mm. So let's find out if what I'm going to show you is even better. Okay. Inside of you, there's a little spark of light. It's been there all this time. It's bright. Make it brighter. Make this light much brighter. And as you expand this light to take over your whole body, you'll notice that this light is a light from the Creator. This is pure love. Tell me how that light feels as you expand it. It feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems it's not big enough. Keep making it brighter. Keep making it so bright that it feels as if you're like as big as the sun. Okay. How does that feel? It feels warm. Mm -hmm. You see? When you lost that body, this was the light where you had to go to. I didn't know. Now you do. Are you ready now? Yes. To feel this all the time? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you now to begin detaching all of your energy. Oh, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. And because you are so bright, you'll be able to do this effortlessly. It's just coming out. Mm-hmm. Pull it all out. I didn't mean to. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Yolanda about God, that? I'm sorry, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Yolanda, can you forgive this man for not uh, yes. knowing anybody? Let's send him off with love and light. And I'd like for you, sir, to go up to the top of her head. Archangel Michael is right there. And he will take you directly back to source. Back to this brilliant white light this brilliant light of source and love. And tell me when you get there. I'm there. And is there anyone there to greet you? Yes. Who's there? Mm. Looks like it's my dad. Mm. Give your dad a nice embrace and may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very mm, much. Thank you. So now I'd like for Archangel Raphael to go ahead and do his magic and fill that space with this brilliant green light. Yes. Okay. So now that we have this blockage from her throat, how do you imagine this would help her in the future? Mm. She'll be able to speak her mind when she needs to speak it. Very good. Very it good. It won't be stuck in her throat. Good. Like was, this, was this entity holding her back? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, you were talking about her throat. You were going through her body. What else is going on with her body? She was saying that there was something that felt like it was being pulled backwards onto her back. What's that? Um, is that a cord? She thinks it's... It's, it's a vitamin deficiency, but it's not. What it's is that? Something. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it and see if she created it. It looks dark. It mm -hmm. looks mm, blackish, mm -hmm. brown. Can we address that today? Yes. All right. So I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to put it through her body and bring that energy up, 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 up. It's such a big blob. It's... Mm -hmm. What is this blob? I don't know what that is. It mm -hmm. doesn't look good. All right. Does this blob have any type of consciousness? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's it's... find out. Let's find out what that blob is. Let's bring that energy up and see if it has consciousness. Mm. Mm. No, it's... No something she put there. All right, very mm -hmm. good. So let's find out what was the origin of this blob. Let's go back in time. Something just it? to stop her from 
Uh, moving forward, it's mm -hmm. something to keep her back. It's mm -hmm. something to. It's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's something she's. When did she create this? Mm -hmm. What? When did she create this blob? Um, How old was she? She was not not that long ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe 20 years ago. Okay. <clears throat> so what is she gaining from this, having this blob there? Well, it kind of made her feel like she thought she was. Mm -hmm. It made her feel like she was thinking she is, mm -hmm. you know. It made her feel like she couldn't do anything because that was painful. Mm -hmm. So we had... And tight and... Uh -huh. We had adult Yolanda speak with little Yolanda. And I'd like to ask you the same thing. Is it the truth? No, it's not the truth. Needs? So go ahead and tell Yolanda it's not what the truth. she's really all about. She is afraid mm -hmm. to to move forward with some of the things that she knows to move forward with. Mm -hmm. So what, can we begin dissolving this blob today? Yes. All right. So what would we like to use? What choice would be best? Mm -hmm. Blue light. All right. So let's go ahead and begin sending blue light to this blob. It has a good frequency for it. Mm -hmm. That's and tell me what happened. It's getting smaller and smaller. Okay. It's mm -hmm. dissolving. Good. Tell me when it's all gone. It's, it's like a little grain of sand that doesn't want to go. Mm -hmm. So if that little grain of sand doesn't want to go, can we transform that grain of sand to be something that would make her back stronger? Sure. All that's right. a good idea. So let's begin transforming it. What kind of light would you like to use? Green. So let's transform it. What would we like to transform it into? Hmm. I guess a good brace of some sort. Good. So let's use this brace to be able to hold her steady. Yeah. While she does this energy work, it would she almost, needs that. Mm -hmm, almost like a bionic spine. That's exactly what she needs. Mm -hmm. To allow this green light to go in there and transform it into a very powerful, flexible bionic spine. Okay. Very good. What's going on with her legs? <sighs> Something happened. And she couldn't move forward. Mm -hmm. Take her back to the origin of that, and let's find out what stopped her from moving forward. Well, we had to stop her. Mm -hmm. Because... She was, she was going to hurt herself if we didn't stop her. Mm -hmm. So we slowed her down, made her see, made her appreciate what was around her too. It's, she needed to, she needed to stop for a minute and it'll get better. Okay. Could you continue working yes. with us? Mm -hmm. She is realizing. She also tells me that her knees swell up, and you told me before? that was food. That was, that was food. yeah. Mm -hmm. She's gonna have some more bouts with that, but that's because she's tweaking okay. the diet, and and then it's just gonna fall off of her like like water. Good. What about her feet? Stability. Mm -hmm. It's about stability. So, what's the message there? It's about rooting herself mm -hmm. grounding herself yes she is working on grounding 
and you know that's another way to slow somebody down is mm -hmm. if your feet are hurting mm -hmm. you have to slow down and take care of yourself and can we work on her feet yes. today so that she doesn't now that she's gotten the message yes she understands it yes what's going on with her belly button oh I think that was a birth thing that, that is a birth thing mm -hmm. tell her what that she, is she <laughs> she's she can't stand anything near her belly button it's funny mm -hmm. why is it so sensitive yes it is from birth it's mm -hmm. just a birth thing it's it's not it's not anything important mm -hmm. for her but it was just a birth thing it it's okay okay can we tone down the sensitivity yes please? thank you yes it's one thing to be ticklish but another thing to be ultra sensitive yeah it's not ticklish it's mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's the mark on her skull? That doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that is. Would you zero in on it? That feels like it's, uh, something was put there. Mm -hmm. Would you go back in time and find out when it was put there and for what reason and who put it there? That. That does not belong there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who is connected to that. Looks like something gray. Mm -hmm. Let's keep following it and see who put it there and mm -hmm. why. That is an implant of mm -hmm. some sort. Is this a physical or etheric implant? Uh, it's etheric. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what the... But it's kind of manifested itself into mm -hmm. something. What is the role of this implant in her life? What's it doing? What's the purpose? It's feeding thought. Mm -hmm. To whom? Feeding insecurity thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's trying to hold her back, but it's not really working. Mm -hmm. mm because otherwise she wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. She she's very aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, but it's trying to stop her from believing in herself. It's trying to tell her that. All right. Now you've we told need to shut that off. So what you've told me before that she is a healer. Yeah. And she has the ability to channel. If she doesn't shut this off, it's going to impede All right. her. Alright. Can we use today one of the stones that she has in her hands? Yes. To go ahead and amplify her healing power and have her put that stone on that place and use her energy to go ahead and shut this down. Okay. It's changing color. Mm -hmm. What color is it now? It is. It's going to white. Mm -hmm. And she'll feel it less. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can we go ahead and be, use Archangel mm -hmm. Michael's blue flame sword to go ahead and pierce that implant and yes. dissolve it. Yes. Thank you. 
Okay, very good. So now that we have that taken care of, what do you imagine her life will be now without that insecurity implant? She is going to... She's really going to move forward like in... She's going to feel like time is flying by Mm -hmm. in that regard Mm -hmm. more than she does now because she can't believe how fast time is going. Mm -hmm. It's like she's uh, going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where is she going? Mm. Mm. Exactly where she wants to go. She wants... She's trying to help people raise their vibrations for New Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, she wants to be able to clear any of these entities, attachments, and open up that third eye. Yes. Do you feel that we've taken care of the attachments today? Mm, I think so. Mm -hmm. And what about that third eye? It's it's not swirling right properly. It's mm-hmm. what's going on with it? Uh, Can we clear out? Yeah, it seems a little a little muddied up a little mm-hmm. bit. What's causing it that, um, to be that way? I think it was. I think it was that implant. I think it's going to be okay, but it's going to take a little time. Would you begin balancing yeah. that chakra now? Yes. It's going to take time, but we'll keep working on it. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, talking Mm -hmm. about third eye and that ability of being able to see, it seems that she saw her grandmother walking through her living room. Oh, yeah. What was that all about? What was that? How was that possible? She wanted to see Yolanda one more time. Mm -hmm. Did she have a message for her? And she loves her. Mm-hmm. And she's glad that she... She's glad she got to see her. Mm-hmm. Before she passed. Mm-hmm. And talking about her family, what mm-hmm. was the reason that she chose to be in a family where her mother would not be part of it? <clears throat> Why did she choose those that, that dynamics? Well... When you oh, she chose it because she chose it because um, of forgiveness mm-hmm. because she forgave her mother. And that was a big lesson. Was that something she came into this life wanting to learn? Yes. Good. Good. Anything else that you would like to tell her about that? She... She's she's doing well on her path, Mm -hmm. but she's she's really going to do well now. Good. Good. (coughs) She's really going to move forward like... It's going to seem like lightning to her. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, she tells me that she's been seeing many things in the sky over many, many years. And she even has pictures. Yeah. Are these? She is seeing. Are these UFOs? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And why is she seeing them? She is just in tune with. She just can see mm-hmm. different, she can see different colors and different, she can see different colors and different frequencies, she, like she can kind of hear it, kind of like the swirling colors that she was seeing. She mm-hmm. Any of these UFOs that she sees, 
Are any of them from her home planet? Or is she just seeing them? She's just seeing them. Okay. Are they able to transmit? She can hear them. She can. So she should She doesn't always understand, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> she can hear them. So how can she teach herself to understand a little um, bit better? How she's she going to hear it more now mm -hmm. because that implant is gone. Mm -hmm. And she will. She's going to hear more. Good. She's going to hear more clearly. Mm -hmm. She might be a little afraid, but... Um, because she's going to hear like she's not heard before. Mm. You have to be careful what you ask for. Mm -hmm. So how can she use that knowledge to help others? Um, that ability to heal Yes, them? she will be able to use that in the healing because she can hear. She can hear some vibrations and she can hear color. Mm -hmm. So she'll, she'll be able to see who needs what. Okay. Yeah. Good. What kind of colors? And... Now, she has someone very dear to her heart, Prudence. Yes. She wants to know if Prudence is happy. <laughs> Prudence is so happy. And she misses her. Mm -hmm. How can she make her happier? Uh, take her more places with her. Mm-hmm. She just wants to be with her all the time. And if it's safe to take her whenever she can. Mm -hmm. Because it's hot in Florida, so she just needs to be safe. Mm -hmm. But she wants to be with her all the time. Is there any message directly that Prudence would no, like to she, give her? No, she her. Is there anything that Prudence needs besides being taken out more? Uh, no. No. Good. She's very happy. Very good. Very good. So now I'd like to ask, is there anything that I didn't ask during this session that you would like to tell Yolanda? She needs to start trusting herself more. Mm -hmm. She needs to she needs to not worry about whether or not people understand what she's saying. She just needs to be by people and and she needs to remember to ground. Mm -hmm. And listen to her body because her body is giving her cues all the time mm -hmm. from sounds in her ears to vibrating to um, sensations that she gets uh, she's very sensitive that way mm -hmm. very good. and she needs to trust it good and who's going to continue working with her on this purpose of being here on Earth. All her guides are going to be. And she calls on her, on her guides and, oh, and her angels. Good, thank you. Yeah, and she, she sees them. Very good. Any other message for her? Mm. Are we complete? I think we're complete. Oh, thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. Welcome back. That was interesting. <laughs> wow. How do you feel? I feel... I feel happy. Good. I feel relaxed. Do you feel... I feel light. <laughs> as a feather? I feel light as a feather, and these stones are hot. Yeah, and I'm going to switch them for some shine down so we can start pounding you. You put a lot of Ooh. power through those stones. Wow. Oh, that feels good. So what do you think about this? First of all, how long do you think you were on this? It felt like maybe 
I feel like maybe, I don't know, like 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. We're on an, almost an hour and 54 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't think that at all. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You did a great job. <laughs> you did fantastic. So this was something that was all about you. Wow. The, the sky yeah. and the twirling, swirling, yeah. elliptical sky with the purple and the pink yeah. and the sideway pyramid. Mm -hmm. That Thank was you. odd. Um, it just was showing me how everything was connected. connected. Everything is full circle, mm -hmm. whether you think so or not. Mm -hmm. And the, the blackness that I was in, but I could see mm -hmm. something, yeah. the light, the light. Yes. Yeah. And it was still peaceful and was still beautiful. So even if you're in darkness, there's mm -hmm. beauty all around you. Mm -hmm. That's what my message was. Yeah. There's... And this past life that you lived as, as this uh, girl in the house, it seems like you did a rerun in this life. Yeah, that's kind of what it seemed like. Mm -hmm. It seems like yeah, she you wasn't... did the same exact thing in this life that yeah. you did then. Did you yeah. notice that? Yes. We didn't talk about it much, but I didn't think you needed to. Yeah. I think you understood. I did understand it. <laughs> I did. I think that's why I didn't, I didn't see a whole lot because yeah. I just saw like little blips of things. It's almost that... like you knew that you had to sacrifice yourself for that moment in time. Yeah. Just for that purpose. And yeah. you did it again. In yes. This lifetime. Yes. Hmm. It interesting. Is. Interesting, huh? Yeah. There's a lot to think about. There is too much to think about. <laughs> But that implant <gasps> was pretty. Yeah, it's stuff. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you have the power to do this now. Yes. Okay. And you can't second I'm guess. I'm more powerful that? than I think I am. I think. Absolutely. I think we all are. We all are. Yeah. We we make ourselves very little and very small. To that was this. what I was saying, wasn't it? Yeah. That. Uh, but it's a lot bigger. Yeah. You can hear colors. You can he probably heal with colors, yeah. and you've got a lot of... You're not retiring, my dear. No. This is just the beginning. I think that's why I've come to Florida, so that I could, uh, you know, North Central Florida, so yeah, that I could... Yeah, the beginning. Yeah, not um, have to have... Mm, so, like, when I lived up north, I had to work, 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 right. work, work, right. and um, I don't have to do, like, that kind of work anymore, so... And with this energy work, you yeah. can be... Working. I can be anywhere because uh, anyway. apparently I can even go to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can do it mentally too. That's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Is this something you want to keep private? Um, I'd like to watch it, yeah. but yeah, I I would like to share whatever I can. So here we are in Miami. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How was your session? How do you feel? I feel light and yeah. airy. I feel rejuvenated. Uh huh. I feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> so you you had been in hypnosis before yeah. once. Once. What yeah. was the difference between that oh, and this? This is night and day. Yeah, tell night me tell day. me the difference. Um last time uh, it was a group a group mm -hmm. session. Yes. And I did not have this type of session. Uh -huh. No, it was um, very simple. Mm -hmm. It was a very simple regression. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I didn't really see much. And uh, but this time, and I did have the voice in the back of my head saying, shut up, <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you liar, you ego. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. And I was like, mm -mm, these things, I could see these things, mm -hmm. you know, I could yeah. see these things. And, and you know, when when people watch this stuff, as an outsider, they may say, well, there's really nothing going on there. What were you getting from it? Oh, I was feeling the sensations. I was seeing the colors. I was mm -hmm. seeing the life of this girl. Mm -hmm. um, was there more information coming in that you were saying? Yes, mm -hmm. I was feeling more. Mm -hmm. It was hard to describe it. Some right. of it is hard to describe. Right. And, yeah, um, which is the difference between watching it. You cannot really judge what's going on because no. you can't. You're not feeling it. 
Yes, that's What was the it. most powerful thing that happened today? Um, I think I think for me was to I think it was that even though there's, you know, ugliness all around mm -hmm. and there's darkness all around, you know, it's still there's still beauty everywhere you look. Yeah. And we're all special. Yeah. 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 You're so special too. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> so is this something that you would recommend? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. If you can find a spot, grab yeah. it. And how do you think that you could help people? I think, um, no, I know. <laughs> yes. That I'm going to be moving forward with the energy work that I've been, uh -huh. um, that I've been working with. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been helping people already. Yes. And um, I will be getting a website up soon. Good. Yeah. Good. So, so we can always put that information yeah. <laughs> as, as, as to how people can contact you so yes. that you can help them. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So uh, if you want to get a hold of me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Uh, you can go to the Out of Town page and sign up for the newsletter. And there it will tell you where my next sessions are. And that's the only way to get sessions right now is to click on the, link, the links on the newsletter. Is that how you got to me or you were one of the lucky ones, weren't you? I was you? one of the lucky ones. <laughs> I got in on the tail end of... Oh, when I closed the, my yeah, calendar. Closed calendar. Yeah, and yeah. we were moving people up as, right. as we right. as we make changes. So if you want a session with me, go ahead and sign up. And I hope to get to see you sometime soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that this was very special for Yolanda. Yes. And uh, <laughs> it's going to change your life. Yeah. Thank Good. you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.